All right, welcome back to another video. I'm going to uh, start doing some stuff on this 5.3 for Braden, that treble build. And I got some parts in, so let's get to it. I'm gonna go through those parts. start with uh, just taking a look here we got some XP some King XP connecting rod bearings I got a half standard and half standard X in this box so we'll see how those actually measure out when that time comes I might need to order some different ones um, this is actually from my inventory right now I'm hoping to be able to uh, help them out and uh, use these up we'll see if it works out and then I got the main bearings that's also an XP and that one's actually just a standard set so what else we got here? Wow, that's hard to do one-handed, apparently. All right, so we got our harmonic balancer bolt. I guess that was shipped from a different location, so they obviously sent it in a different box. And you gotta love the bubble wrap that they use, eh? That is gonna be satisfying. More. All right. What do we got here? We got our gasket set, okay? We got our coolant crossover gaskets, valve cover, got water pump, rear cover, timing covers down there, we got our dumbbell, front seal, another valve cover, side oil pan, rear seal, valley cover, oil pan gasket, and exhaust gaskets. And get that to the side. I uh, ordered myself a new flex zone for the lifter valleys, or sorry, lifter bores, so I can just give them a little uh, texture there to help hold the oil. Some catalogs for days. What else we got? I got some injector adapters. I got the core plugs, which came with its own dumbbell, so I guess I, there's two of them, but uh, yeah, those look good. What else we got here? We have a three bar map sensor. And we have the uh, nitrous solid driver, so it's a solid state relay. Uh, this is gonna be for the bump box on this build got some CHP 25T Durban cam bearings. I got some 41859CP. These are piston rings for uh, the LS there, 151530. I got a set of cylinder head bolts. We got some uh, lifters. These are actually LS7 lifters in this box. Uh, we got an oil pump. We're going with the 10296 on this build. And you got your front uh, block off plate there. I like to replace these uh, because you get the new O-ring in it. Make sure you don't have a, a leak happening there. All right. And this is our timing set. It's a double roller deal. So I will have to do some clearancing on the timing cover to make this work, but uh, should not be an issue overall. 
What else we got? Okay, we got the lifter guides, new lifter guides. And I got our cylinder head gaskets. So we're going with the LS9 from BTR. Awesome. That's a good part tall right there. So I don't know if I've actually gone through everything that we're doing here on Braden's build. Um, that's not for it. But I'll just go through some more of the parts that we have for this ordeal here. We got some uh, Bosch 210 injectors. Well, might be able to get one out. Whatever, it's an injector. So we got some Bosch 210s. There we go. These have, uh, they were used. We got a good deal on them, but they were flowed. So these things are, are good to go as far as that's concerned. Um, we are also going with uh, the Terminator X. It's the 905, like 55. Oh, 905. Um, we got everything in here. Lots of good stuff. Got a good deal on it, eh? Like, I've been trying to help them out. This thing got used for a heck of a price. Got the injectors used for a heck of a price. And they were flowed already. We didn't even have to do that. So, finding some good deals trying to get this build, uh, the, the price down as much as possible. But, I mean, hey, we got a lot of stuff going on here. It's going to be difficult to do that, right? Uh, we got our adapter plate for the converter snout. We got some uh, motor mounts, ICT billet. Uh, what else we got? Uh, these are the motor mounts. The, uh, these are adjustable. These will go on the engine side. Um, I'll open that box yet at some other time. But yeah, those are the adjustable plates. You can move them around. Um, we got the poly oil pan here. And this oil pan should have enough clearance to get by on his third gen. It's also got the bungs already, like the hole is threaded and tapped on either side for turbo stuff. So we got the turbo drain location ready to go. So that's gonna be actually quite nice. Um, what else? Of course, how can I forget? We have, get this out of the way again, this incredibly beautiful LS, whatever holly high ram deal like i am so excited for this and just like anything turbo related or like aftermarket parts i mean just look at the flow this thing is gonna just be so beautiful can't get over it actually i think he should put a stock intake on this engine and then uh, we'll just hang this on the wall I think that'd be pretty cool. I wonder if I can convince them. Probably not. And we got our O-ring gaskets. Hmm. Those things supposed to be broken? I'm not sure if those are two-piece or not. Might be. And we got some fuel rails. So we should be dialed there. And this is a cathedral port, by the way. All right, what else we got? sneak over into this corner of the world and here we have vs racing turbo it's an 80 millimeter turbo and underneath here we have a btr uh shoot what stage cam do we get here again well that's the cam it's a stage three i think yep it's the btr turbo stage three it's their their new version of it so we have the cam push rod springs Good to go there. Um, we have wastegate, we have blow off valve, we have intercooler, intercooler piping. Oh man, I don't even know what I'm all missing here. There is just so many parts. Yeah, so I don't know what I'm missing. I'm probably missing stuff. Uh, Cause there's a lot, a lot of stuff. This is a big build, big build, big project. So very excited for that. Um, the I'm a little bit torn on which block I want to use here now. So I have this other LS53 that came into my life recently. Right here. I'll just point down a little bit. Um, now this one, I'll have to do some measuring on it to see. Um, but I know that these bores don't look as good as those bores do. 
but these bores measure out with less taper and out of round than what that block does. So I don't know, I'm a little bit torn on which one to use here. Um, with this one, there's also a concern right where the oil pump flows into the block. So you can see this path right here. It looks like that oil was blowing out the side here and not going into the galley. Well, it looks like that because it, that's the, the fact. That is exactly what was happening. Um, I mean, the three bolts were, three of these bolts were completely loose. Like there was like threads exposed and the pump itself, you could wiggle it back and forth. So you get a little pressure, it pulls back and it just blasts out the side, which explains why this thing had low oil pressure. Um, yeah, just not an ideal situation, you know? So I don't know, I'm a little bit torn. I'm gonna clean this block up. I mean, they're both aluminum, okay? This is a Gen 4 aluminum and that's a Gen 3 aluminum. I don't know if there's any, you know, perks or benefits from running, running one to the other, you know, conditions being the same. Um, so if there is, you know, maybe let me know. But uh, I'll, uh, I'll see. I might just clean this one up a little bit more. Um, I should actually measure here as well, put a straight edge here to make sure that this is straight. Um, yeah, I don't know, we'll see you guys. I do have that one mostly cleaned up already, like the decks that's been you honed and everything. Um, I just have to actually final wash it yet. And I gotta run through my, my little uh, dingleberry hone there for the lifter bores. Uh, and then I gotta final wash that block and then you know maybe I'll end up using that one. But a part of me is kind of leaning towards this block. So I, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I might just wing it. I'll measure this one out, clean it up, measure it out again, and maybe just let my heart decide. Uh -huh.